Hi, you clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Tuesday over here in the Atlantic. Not too active right now, mainly just an intertropical convergence zone sitting down here with some low amplitude waves embedded in it. Not too much action right now. There's a lot more moisture in the western Gulf right now streaming into Texas, which is generating some showers in eastern Texas and western Louisiana this morning. And it would be nice to see them get a little bit of rain out of this pattern. This tropical wave that came across the Yucatan brought a burst of moisture that restored total precipitable water values to near normal across this whole area, which is nice to see finally. We haven't seen this in a while in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts with this moisture here and see how much this pattern can get things to moisten up in this area of the world. The main story in the tropics today is Hurricane Beatriz, which probably isn't a hurricane anymore. It had an eye right in here, as you can maybe see on the IR here, as it moved towards the shore. The eye moved ashore, as it, and as soon as it did, it broke apart, and the core is now looking like it's starting to weaken, and this will probably start curving off towards the west slowly and weakening as it does so, perhaps maintaining intensity a little bit once it gets back out over the water, but I believe it's in a weakening phase. You can see that the outflow here to the north is getting squished again as the upper trough that was breaking down the ridge to the north of it is now moving on to the east over here which you can't see so this ridge to the northwest of it is now building back in and starting to cut off the poleward outflow channel so this storm is starting to lose a lot of the support that helped to become a cat one in the first place and as expected it will not get much stronger than that and is probably already falling off of hurricane status and these folks in here were aptly warned by the hurricane center so good job to them and this will be moving off to sea over the next couple of days. I wanted to show you the SOI index in the dailies since the 14th over here. You can see the 14th and we started going into a big area of negatives. Notice that we got all the way down to minus 30 to minus 31 on the 17th and that was a major burst of negative SOI that we have now come out of into positive numbers rather abruptly. And I always watch for these because this shows a Kelvin wave moving across the Pacific, meaning that we have a wave of upward motion, a wave of westerly winds coming across the Pacific. You initiate these westerly winds, they cause surface convergence and low pressure in the central Pacific, and if we low those pressures near Tahiti, we lower the SOI and get negative numbers in here. Once that burst of westerlies continues on, we start to get divergence at the surface and a raising of pressures as air starts to sink near Tahiti and pressures will rise and the SOI will come back. But what that means is these westerlies are moving on towards the eastern Pacific where we're starting to get convergence in this area and this is why we got Beatriz in part anyway is we got convergence there near the monsoon trough and helped Beatriz to develop and now this air is sinking all in here and pushing towards the east um, getting convergence going in this area of the world and what this means is that if we have Beatriz now that means that this is going to continue east and we're going to be getting more of this showing up in the Caribbean over the next five to ten days and you can see on the GFS the upward motion remains here at the day five period the day ten period and even the day fifteen period here still showing green showing up over the eastern Pacific and western Caribbean with a lot of sinking air showing up in the western to central Pacific so this is a pattern that overall favors upward motion and tropical activity in our area of the world. And although the GFS has backed off of a significant development during this week through the first week of July, it still looks rather fishy in this whole area. This is by day eight here, still showing a lot of precipitation, a lot of monsoonal circulation centered right over here over Central America until that moves somewhere over the water. It's not going to be able to do a whole lot, but you can see it's very wet in here, lots of upward motion, a little bit farther north than it was when Beatrice developed way out here. So this area is going to be lighting up a little bit in terms of precipitation. We're going to have to watch this area. The no gaps is actually bringing up in the last couple runs a low pressure center out of the southwest Caribbean into the monsoonal circulation, developing a little bit of a low here with a nice upper ridge aloft by days six, seven, and eight over here in the northwest Caribbean or near the Yucatan Peninsula. It'll be interesting to see if any more models catch on to this solution. Right now things are fairly inconsistent. 
as the models first tried to get something going in the southern Gulf of Mexico and it doesn't look like they want that to work out anymore and as I said this pattern is providing opportunities but no guaranteed developments here as too far out to see specifically whether these developments will actually occur. We're just watching the models right now to see if anything consistent gets going, but what we know is that the pattern favors development in this region if we're going to get anything going, so we're just watching to see if something tries to spin up and then take those situations one at a time as they come our way. The first one on the models didn't work out, perhaps another one will come along, but we know that this pattern is full of mischief, so we have to be watchful. And here's the 30-day precipitation anomalies for the Atlantic. We can see a lot going on in the Caribbean here in terms of wetness. Notice over here in Africa, though, see this green showing up north in the in the western Sahel down here in this brown, indicating drier than normal conditions to the south near the coast and in the Gulf of Guinea. And again, this is because of all this cold water that's showing up in the Gulf of Guinea recently. Lots of upwelling going on here in this um, equatorial current, and this is inducing sinking air here where the water is cold, which is forcing the intertropical convergence zone and African easterly jet further north than normal over Africa, which is allowing these tropical waves to come off a little bit stronger and a little bit farther north than normal. Um, and I, again, it's this theory that as these come off, this is going to be putting energy into the Caribbean and the monsoonal circulation in the southern Gulf of Mexico and near Central America. And as these come across, we're going to see this area perhaps become more conducive here as energy piles up. And that's why we're still going to have to watch for development near the end of this month and probably into the first week of July as well. And we may not get our first named storm until July, but again, June does not always have a named storm, and it has little bearing on what the season's overall going to be like um, based on June. And seeing this here, the models did not anticipate this before the season began. They saw the Gulf of Guinea remaining warmer than normal for most of the season. Seeing this cold tongue showing up here implies that we have one heck of a season ahead of us with all this warm water sitting in here and this cool tongue hanging on east of Florida. I haven't mentioned this much before, but this cool tongue is always present when we have a big year of U.S. landfalls. Um, cold to neutral east of Florida with all the warmth to the south here is not a great pattern. We're setting up for a pretty dangerous dangerous season showing up here. Less numbers than last year, but more dangerous. So things will be heating up soon enough. We don't need to get too antsy about the season activity becoming a bust right now. Things will heat up eventually. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.